Attorney General Garland, his colleagues in the Justice Department who are involved in this mess, their cutouts, wherever they are, in the FBI or in Fulton County or up in New York, should all be subject to criminal investigation for abusing their powers and targeting American citizens just as, such as Donald Trump and violating their civil rights under color of law. Let's talk about Attorney General Garland first. Uh, because he gave what I believe to be one of the uh, most troubling speeches or statements out of the Justice Department in recent history, where he criticized and attacked and suggested as unlawful critiques of his Justice Department and the misconduct of his uh, agency employees, such as Shaq Smith and the other prosecutors who are uh, targeting political opponents of the Biden regime. And I had a, 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 I, I had a watch video of the key portion of his speech. Let's go to that. There has been an escalation of attacks on the Justice Department's career lawyers, agents, and other personnel that go far beyond scrutiny, criticism, and legitimate and necessary oversight of our work. These attacks have come in the form of conspiracy theories, dangerous falsehoods, efforts to bully and intimidate career public servants by repeatedly and publicly singling them out, and threats of actual violence. Through your work, you have made clear that the Justice Department will not be intimidated by these attacks. But it is dangerous. That's outrageous. It really is outrageous. It was a, a clearly designed effort to smear Trump and uh, folks who are concerned about the abuse of Trump. Uh, no one denies that threats of violence are illegal. But that wasn't what he focused on. It was just general criticism and so-called conspiracy theories. This is a man who, for the first time in American history, is trying to put a former president in jail. And the Supreme Court told him, in no uncertain terms, that the basis for his prosecution was illicit. It was unconstitutional, had no basis in the Constitution and the law. And what does he do? He spends his time critiquing those who critique him and his appointees. And the idea that government officials should not be criticized and to criticize government officials is, quote, dangerous, is dangerous in and of itself, because it suggests coming from the head of the Justice Department that people will be prosecuted. So we're not allowed to criticize Jack Smith. We're not allowed to raise questions about the obvious collusion between Garland and the government and, and the prosecutors in New York and, and in Georgia and how Biden sicked Garland on Donald Trump and the White House involvement in that. We're not allowed to ask those questions. That's a conspiracy theory. And to raise it is something that is potentially unlawful. As this man tries to jail his political enemies, he's the one pretending to be above politics. I mean, personally, they sent FBI agents to my home I'm the president of Judicial Watch. They gave me a subpoena. They gave your Judicial Watch a subpoena in retaliation. Retaliation, there was no lawful reason for it in my view, in retaliation for our critiques of that Justice Department. So I know this is not an idle threat from them. They go after their critics and they try to harass them. And in the case of Trump trying to jail him. And that he issued this statement just a few weeks before the election, it's less than two months now, just highlights just how political he is while pretending not to be political. I mean, their agency, for instance, he doesn't want to tell us the names of the people trying to put Trump in jail. Again, using that fake argument about security. No one should be threatened, obviously, but that's not the basis to withhold information. That's not the basis to tell people they can't make uh, non 
violent critiques of government officials or just ask what their names are. Who are they? Jack Smith doesn't want to tell us who's helping him try to jail Trump, who his top people are. I mean, we're fighting in federal court for it now. I mean, this is a man who was found in contempt of Congress for unlawfully refusing to testify and provide information. Ignored the subpoena. And he's talking about threats to the Justice Department. As I said last week, they had a rehash indictment of Trump just a few weeks, a few months before the election, ignoring the Supreme Court. Oh, no, we can't criticize them for that because that could be, that's dangerous. Well, I'm not going to be intimidated, and nor is Judicial Watch. We're going to continue demanding documents about their abuses of power. And let me be clear, Attorney General Garland his colleagues in the Justice Department who are involved in this mess, their cutouts, wherever they are, in the FBI or in Fulton County or up in New York, should all be subject to criminal investigation for abusing their powers and targeting American citizens just as, such as Donald Trump and violating their civil rights under color of law. So not only are we going to critique them, we're going to advocate for a serious criminal investigation of their abuses of power. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.